and welcome to my youtube channel so in this tutorial we are making a digit classification app in real time using python and we also use the cnn technique and some python library called tensorflow carlos numpy OpenCV, and so on so let's look the demo first so here's my demo also open this one okay so you can see here a rectangle okay so if I put here 9, okay, so you can see here in class, you can see 9 and the probability is 100%, okay. So if I change another one, let's say 8, so you can see here in the class, if say 8 and 1, 2, 3, 6, 5, 4, 7, 0. Okay, so in this tutorial we are trying to make this one. So let's get started. So let's queue for Brack. So here's the code. So I already code it here in my sublend index. So in my previous tutorial, I make a app. This one, uh, digit classification web apps in CNN. So if you wanted to deploy this project, so you need to train your model. So in this tutorial, I already discussed all the things briefly. So make sure that you have to uh, see this video first to last. Okay, then you can easily understand what actually going through this code. Okay, so I will put this link on my description so you can check it out from here. Okay, so let's minimize it. So first we need to uh, train our model. So I will discuss in my previous video. Okay. So here is my uh, training code. Okay, I will discuss it here. And after uh, training my uh, model, so it will give me a model file. So it look like this, my my training model dot is file. Okay. So now we are trying to use this one in our real time. Okay. So first we need to import warnings because we are using TensorFlow 1.5. So it will give me some warnings error. So we are trying to ignore all the warnings. So that's why I put here warnings dot filter warning and inside this parameter we put here the ignore. Then we are uh, import numpy because we are trying to make some uh, multi-dimensional calculation in our program. Then we are trying to we are importing CB2 because in CB2 is help us to create our application real time. Then we put here PKL module. So PKL module will help us to load our model. You can also use this, okay, or not use, okay. And finally, we are importing Keras.model import the load button. So, which one help our to load our model? Then, we put here a threshold below. So, let's uh, go to this main part first, okay. So, here's the first, uh, here's, the, here's the main part of the code. So, first, we have to create our video capture frame. So, you can see here while through. So it will be infinite loop, then make a success. So if the success is uh, one, so this camera will be open. If the success is zero, so this camera is not open. That means in your code have some problem. Okay, and if the image original, so you are reading our video from our capture, video capture of it. So you already uh, create our video capture of it here. So you can see cap equal to cb2 dot uh, video capture then inside this parameter you put here zero because you are using our default webcam in our laptop then we are trying to uh, make our image into a array scale because in our previous video we already discussed how the image are actually uh, what do you call arrays and you know that image are actually arrays in a number array so that's why you have to uh, make it as an array okay then we created a rectangle here because what actually rectangle uh, in my demo video you can see here a rectangle you said this rectangle how and I put here the a picture of 0 7 so it will detect all the things so now you have to uh, create a rectangle so which will help our to um, crop the picture of the upper uh, frame that's when we put here cb2 rectangle we created a rectangle here and we are cutting all the images from our rectangle not the full frame okay 
so that's why put here this condition on so 100 into 300 and 100 into 300 so it will help you to uh, actually see if it runs program again so you can easily understand what actually going through this code okay so this crop events should help our to crop our uh, video capture frame okay and it will go our uh, predicted model and it will, it, will, it will easily detect our predictor it takes some time okay because it is using our tensorflow backend and also load some uh, heavy model so not a heavy model and also some heavy library so that's why it takes some time okay after running so you can easily actually get this why should we use the crop and why should hunt it 300 all the things briefly okay so let's go out from here if it run i will know it, okay so then you have to resize our image 32 by 32 cause in our uh, previous video we already discussed that we have to convert our image into a 32 cross 32 okay so in this code you can see here so image dimension is a 32 32 and 3 okay is our dimension okay i think it will open okay so you can see here is one for my full frame is my result frame and it's the crop one so if i uh, put here this seven one so you can see here inside my crop okay inside my crop so this one uh, give me some let's move it right down okay you can see here this one seven right down. okay so you crop this image okay so and this is a rectangle this one is a rectangle here you can see here rectangle okay so let's press a cube so it will be back okay so you can see here we put here the image dimension as 32 uh, cross 32 so that's why we already put here into uh, we are trying to resize our image into 32 by 30 uh, that's why the model was easily predicted our numbers then we need to preprocessing some using some preprocessing step so here is the preprocessing function so first we have to convert our image into a ui and yet then we have to convert our image easier to grsql so if i go to here my previous code and uh, see this preprocessing part what is it yes it's the preprocessing part so first we have to convert our image into easier to grsql format and we use the equalize list for equalize our image then we are divide this image 255 so that's why the image should be a normal list normal list means 0 to 1 list okay so guys make sure that you are trying to uh, watch my previous video okay it will help you to easily understand all the things here okay then we put here uh, put two tags the first one is a class number okay and the second one is the probability so what actually the class number so you can see my data folder so inside this my data folder has one two three four up to nine so ten classes so there's the classes and the probability mean percentage okay so you uh, give here the image origin and the class and uh, it's a coordinate okay and the font and the font ratio or you can say font scale and the color and the font size and the line area okay it also same as the uh, put text of the probability okay so now it's time to how can we predict our classes so that's why you can say prediction to model that predict so what actually the model so we already uh, okay you can see load model so you already uh, make a variable for model so which load model will help us to load our model which i already trained in our previous video okay so here's a uh, my training model dot is five then you can see we are predicting our uh, model using this image okay so after it get in the prediction it will also give us the class index so what actually the class index and what's the picture is coming from this my data folder and we are trying to print our uh, probability so np.mx so np.mx is help us to uh, what do you call actually predict our uh, probability okay so if the probability uh, probability is uh, upper than 90 percent so it should be the actual output that's mean if the accuracy is more than 90 percent so this output is actually fine and then we are we are printing this all the things 
from here so you can see here all the thing okay so here is the image ordeal and it's we are uh, trying to convert in our class in this ministry okay in stream format then make a blank space here and you also uh, uh, get classes from get class name from our class id so what are the glass class name so you can see here it is the get class name uh, method so if the class name that's me if the class name is a zero this means zero folder you can see inside this zero folder there are there is some images of zero okay so that's mean uh, if the uh, class number is zero so that's mean it will return the zero if the class number is a one so it will return one so if the class number is a two it will return two it's up to nine okay so you are calling this uh, function here and we are converting this function in the string format so you can see here we are converting our image into a string format then we put here a, a what you call x and y coordinate and also uh, detect uh, we also declared a font and the font ratio and the font scale also the line and also color okay so this is the color and finally we are put here cbg.imshow so which one help you to create a pop-up and it will show the image browser and we also trying to uh, show our crop image so this one crop image and put here word key so that's mean if anyone press q so this infinite loop will be black okay and we finally uh put here cap dot release and see to the store all in okay so here is the all codes okay all the codes here okay all the codes you can see here so it is so easy so let's run our code then see what actually happen so control b so in the sublime text is control b in your case if you use the Jupyter no go okay or anaconda prompt so you shift enter in your case okay so in my case is this one it takes some time okay to load our model i don't know why should i put your depth empty i am equal to pass takes some time okay okay so it will open you can see here it's the my original frame and it's my car frame okay so if i put here this one so you can see here nine okay eight one two three four six five four seven all the things profile okay so you can also see here the probability okay probability 90 uh, 95 96 97 99.596 and something okay so this is the probability and it is the class so you can also see here the in the third bracket in the class you can see here zero that's mean it will come from the uh, zero index okay so here is the tutorial so thank you guys for watching this video and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon uh, for never miss an update and bye bye